Odie. Are you making a recipe? You're making some cookies? Odie, can we help you make the cookies? We need two cups of flour. One. Two. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. A quarter teaspoon of salt. Let's whisk the dry ingredients together. In a separate bowl, let's add half a cup of butter and one cup of granulated sugar. Let's mix these two ingredients until they're fluffy. Let's add one egg and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now let's gradually add the dry ingredients. Are you ready to roll out the dough? We are ready to cut out the shapes with some cookie cutters. Now let's place them on a parchment paper lined cookie sheet. Odie, while we wait for the cookies to bake, let's find out how all the ingredients come together to make the cookies. The process of baking cookies is actually a series of chemical reactions. Each ingredient has a specific purpose. Beating the butter creates air pockets, which helps make the cookies fluffy. Butter is made up of fat and water. And when butter melts, the water particles evaporate. Sugar not only makes the cookies taste sweet, but it also binds together with the water molecules. This traps the water molecules inside and makes the cookies moist. Flour also affects the structure of the cookies. Flour absorbs water and glues the fat and sugar together. Having the right amount of flour is very important. Adding too much flour will absorb all of the water and dry out the cookie. Adding too little flour will make the cookies too runny. Eggs are a great source of protein. And when heated, they change from a liquid to a solid. This reaction helps the structure of the cookie by holding it together. Baking powder is a leavening agent. This means that it makes the cookies rise when they are baking. And finally, the salt and vanilla help our cookies taste sweeter. Mmm, yummy, Odie. The cookies look delicious.